Alrighty, ladies and gentlemen, today we're back with episode two here. We've made a little bit of progress since last time. Um, I actually can't believe how many videos my last stone block series actually got, which was actually a very welcome surprise. So uh, thanks for that, everyone. All right, let's get into this, shall we? So we've I've done some upgrading stuff around here. I've upgraded my barrels and stuff here. I don't think we even had barrels in the last video. I had to check to make sure the audio was working because I cannot tell you how many times I've recorded videos and realized that it's not working. So anyway, our main goal today is trying to get a little friend for a survival generator here. Our main goal is actually to get diamonds, and then we're going to see if we can get that infinity dust. We could make an auto sieve too. I feel like that would actually be a warranted thing to make. How expensive is that? Here, here, we have an idea. So I really don't want to actually sieve all this, if I'm going to be honest. So if we can find a way to automate the process. So yeah, I kind of made all these gravels for no reason. Because I was like, I was just going to sit there and uh, just pretty much sieve all of those, right? I was like, maybe, maybe there's a more efficient way of doing things. So we're doing that now. Got to get another quest line here. Because uh, apparently I actually unlocked that as well. All right, so we got four chests here. I'm trying to see if we get anything exciting. All right, epic bacon. That's always good. A creative modifier. That's epic. All right, we got some wood and stone. Not so epic. We got some viaducts. All right. That's pretty epic stuff, I do say. The creative modifier is going to be great for when we get into Tinger's Construct. So we're just going to shove that in our chest for now. All right, our main goal t is to... Let's see here. We need an auto hammer and an auto sieve kind of thing. Got redstone. I need lead here. I am kind of glue. I'm tr like kind of off of focus here, but I I need lead to make the uh, the what you call it? The fluxedux. Sounds weird. Okay, auto hammer. See diamond hammer. So we have to make diamonds anyway. What about auto sieve? Okay, it looks a lot easier to make up here. Might, we might have enough for that. Okay, I don't know how this works exactly. I think it's one of these things. I think that either this is in the middle and this is on the side, or... Okay, I do not know how to make a fluxiduct, apparently. Let's do fluxiducts. Okay, so it actually needed a lot more than I originally thought it needed for some reason. You know, I think I was trying to craft the uh, item, item duck, actually. All right. I should have put that over here. That would have been made. That would have made more sense, wouldn't it? All right. Well, regardless. Yeah, that would have made so much more sense because that's over here. I mean, the great thing is that it's not really too hard to move over. Hmm. Regardless. We're going to go ahead and make our auto hammer thing. Our auto sieve a while. So that means we need our sticks here. One of those. It's Biscuits. Well, at least we have this. We have a certain amount of dirt. That's all for character development, ladies and gentlemen. Biscuits got the wrong thing. There we go. We got two in our. Yep, we got two in our inventory already. Hmm. Alrighty. So we just need four more. Let's see if I can. It's not really an effective way of doing this, is there? Oh, we're going to have to break this regardless. So we kind of lost a power that we made there. Just, all right, I guess, you know. All right, so I think we're going to put a auto hammer, like, right here. So we can clear that out a while. 
Look at that, we already have a cubby hole because I hid the, whatchamacallit, back there. The auto sieve. Alright, so I'm going to put these torches on the floor for now because I have no place for them. And I don't want anything to spawn it. And so we're going to put our auto hammer right here. And then we're going to put our auto sieve next to that. I think that will work. I hope it works. And then um, go ahead and make a little, little uh, thing here. There's a lot of freaking stone options, isn't there? Gosh. Okay, okay. Pop quiz. There we go. I'm gonna take those. All right. This is how we get stone. Instead of like mining it. Or not mining it, I should say. This is actually kind of... I don't know if it's ingenious or stupid. That's the fun part. Alright, so now... Gotta focus here. So we're gonna put a survival generator probably right here, right? I think that would be a good idea. <laughs> Let me clean out our power sources through the wall like that. And that will go into that, thus powering it. I think we could just shove all of it in there. We're going to need all of that coal eventually. And I think we're going to have like, I don't know, like a... Biscuits, I don't know how I'm going to do that. Okay, we're going to have to put these on the bottom. I, I think we're good. Okay, so we're gonna have to make this aisle way a little smaller. Yeah, I don't need that. That's fine. Or we could recess that. Give me this back. Yeah, I feel like that would work better. So if I put this into the wall, like right here, and then. I guess I'm going to have to recess everything into the wall, wouldn't I? I guess we got to bear get doing that then. Because that's just not going to work, simply. What if I still got a stone pickaxe? Because there's so much logistics that have to go on in here. Because if I, if I want something to extract the items out, that to take it over onto this side, to like, I don't know, or like over here, or something. This is very confusing, I'm not gonna lie. I don't even know what I'm doing. I know I'm making a sieve, that's, that's how much I know. I'm gonna make some glass panes. Know what you might call a app. I figured I would need something like that, wouldn't I? Let's see if I can make two at one time here. Be great if we could, because that would really save on like time here. Two, because we're gonna have to create one later, to, or like at least a couple. So we'll go ahead and make four of these actually. Yeah, that makes one. That's fine. We need one right away. Okay, so that's going to be the second thing in the process here, and then the first one is going to be... So I can put that there. Or, hmm. Okay, let's make a leadstone... F whatchamacallit? Not leadstone. Oh, boy. <laughs> I'm trying to think of a game plan here and, like, function at the same time, right? It's really not going well. It's not getting power because that does not have power going to it. Makes sense. So we could actually take one of these meshes here. Put that in there. And now it's happy. It takes a lot of power, it seems. 
But lucky for us, that generates more power than it's uh, receiving. Right, so I think uh, now we're going to make our item thing here, which is the thing we were trying to make earlier, I think. There we go, item duct. And we need a servo, which I think we have enough to make that. So that's great. Servo, yes. Beautiful, that is, that is absolutely beautiful. All right, so now... We're going to take our logistics here. Quote unquote logistics, right? <laughs> and we're going to put this up here, right? We could upgrade this, but I don't think I have enough resources, of course. All right, so we're going to have that there. And then we're going to have that, this here. And then that's going to pop out here. I should put torch back here, huh? And then that will go into our auto hammer, which which, which we should have already had stuff put in there, right? Because we did have freaking stuff to put in there. Yeah, that makes sense. This is all a logistical nightmare. I think we're going to need more than one survival generator. Mother biscuits. All right. Well, we're just going to do this by hand, at least until we actually get a functioning idea here. So I really thought that was going to work a little better. I just hope we get diamonds quickly here. I need two. And then we can make our auto hammer. If we get enough iron, we could make a uh, furnace generator. Okay, we got one diamond. Let's get, see if we can get two. If we can get two, then I'm good. This might take a while. That's the problem. That's why I was trying to do a streamline uh, like productivity here. I think we just got an emerald. That's great. I love emeralds. One thing I love more are those diamonds. <laughs> come on. Really? Really, come on. Just one more diamond. Just one more diamond. This really brings me back to like 2012, 2013 Minecraft. Actually, I played Minecraft in like 2016, 2017. But regardless, that's beside the point. I remember when I used to play the the uh, the free trial version. <laughs> oh, the free trial version! I remember that like vividly. Like you had like a set time limit to get your nonsense together, like your whole entire act together. Like, and if you did not get like, I have never progressed far. Like, then you couldn't, like, interact with the world anymore. Like, you still walk around in the world, but, like, you couldn't, like, break any of the blocks and stuff. So that was fun. I kind of missed that. I don't think there's a way you could actually do that anymore. Because that was the old Minecraft launcher. Yeah. I did not get a single diamond. These must be rare. I guess diamonds are rare. Come on, man. Give it all sorts of nonsense, but not a diamond. Another trucker, man. Well, it is not all in vain, though, because we need iron, and we have plenty of iron now. I really need to make a Tinker's Construct Foundry, because you know how much iron you can get from those? It's ridiculous. I think that's, yeah, that's, I forgot to put the servo on here. That was very smart, yes. Be me, create the servo. Okay, come on. I guess putting stuff in there. 
Yep. Okay. I was I was, I was uncertain there for a second. I'm not gonna lie. All right. So what do we need for the generator? I think it's called a furnace generator, if I remember correctly. Machine block. There's redstone, a chest, and a bunch of other nonsense. I don't even think we'll have enough redstone for this, which is very problematic. Forget. That helps. That's character development. We have dust, though. Something might actually be working in our favor for once. So I think we get dust from redstone, or redstone from dust. <laughs> but all this stuff's just falling on the floor. Oh, good heavens. I d that's the problem, I never have a clean inventory. That's very much a big problem. All right, so we're gonna start picking stuff up here and then shoving it in here. We got nickel, so you, that means we can start making invar and stuff. I was gonna say, I was hoping we didn't already have nickel because that would be pretty embarrassing. Be like, oh yeah, we actually already have this item that's, uh, I said we needed. <laughs> so yeah, that, that makes sense. I need that Game Boy. Alrighty, let's see here. Shove everything we can in there. Alright, that should be enough to make our thingamajig here. I hope. I swear to God, if they needed the other tomfoolery nonsense. Yeah, that's already not going to be enough. I can tell you right now, because we only have five of those, and we need a lot more than five. Is there any way we can get redstone from loot bags or whatever? Okay, so that's an opportunity. It's a very slim opportunity. Okay, well, I guess it's any opportunity is better than no opportunity, right? Alright, so I'm going to embark on... 12, 12, 15. I forgot to put this one down. That one doesn't... Okay, and that one's just not functioning at all. That's fine. Alright. So, I need to make obsidian. Because the draconium-infused obsidian's not the right obsidian. Okay, that's fine. I don't have to even have the right barrel for this. Oh, son of a biscuit. We need to make a stone barrel. But I think we actually do have enough stone. Heck yeah, that should be enough. I'm gonna make some stone slabs. Apparently I don't know how to make stone slabs. Good to know. This is getting very, very crowded. I'm gonna put that in the middle. There we go. Now I can actually use our third crucible. Beautiful. Yeah, efficiency. We're just good like that. Look at that. We're ha we have businesses now. Yep, this is going good. So if we make an item collector. Yeah, ice bucket challenge, hell yeah. If we make a, whatchamacallit, a thingamajig, if you will, that will funnel items into one particular spot when we go down to our zombie, or spawner thingy. Which night. <clears throat> Alrighty, now we are back here, ladies and gentlemen. Now we can make our furnace thingy. Our furnace generator, which needs a machine block, which needs a chest. 
And after that, we should be good for that. We should complete that quest. Four machine blocks, that's fun. Okay, that's something else completed. Very good. We have a lot of work to do still, clearly. Display. Meh. I actually need that. I don't know if it actually generates more power, but I'm hoping it does. Oh yeah, definitely generates more power. Alrighty, well, we've accomplished that today. We'd have accomplished getting... Oh boy. We really haven't accomplished too much, have we? We did get these set up, so that's good. So we're getting lava. We set up a uh, item collector, which is very nice. And we have a rough blueprint of our auto farm here, which will be actually functioning eventually. Spectre Coil would have made this so much easier. But we haven't got one of those yet, so... I need a storage room, really. Really bad. Look at all this nonsense we got. Alrighty, well, I guess that's going to be it for this video, guys. If you guys liked it, please like and subscribe, and I'll see you guys in part three.